Hey, how's it going, Josh? Thanks for taking the time to watch this video that I made for you. I'm going to give you a great insight of your position on Google and to give you a look at your SEO marketing as of right now. So as you can see, we're on one of my business pages. Um, my business is Amp Local. We do internet marketing, web design, SEO, PPC management, and lead generation. All right, so just want to jump straight into the video here. Um, so here's your website. Paradise Palapas. Um, so 82% of the population, as you may already know, is on Google, searching on Google to find their product or service in their area. Um, so it's imperative to have an SEO marketer, you know, behind you, behind your website, giving you uh, the fuel you need to get your website in the top rankings, right? Um, SEO is like wheels and fuel for your car, but for your website. All right, so Google has an algorithm. It has 200 determining factors. I'm um, not going to talk about all of them. I'm going to talk to you about the very four most important ones. Um, we nail these four. Everything else falls into place. Okay. So to find you, naturally, someone would search Palapas Houston or Palapas in Houston or something of that nature. Okay. Um, so I searched Palapas in Houston and you are ranked number three, which I'm sure you kind of already knew you were up there, right? Um, so before I move forward, I, I do know, I do understand the fact that you are wanting to launch more lead generation websites over Texas. Um, so I want to show you how moving you just in Houston from three to number one can impact your business. So um, the number one guy, who's this, the number one quality, Gulf Coast Palapas. So he's number one right now. Okay. So. This chart shows you who gets all the clicks from these searches, okay? So the number one person gets about 35%. So he's getting, Gulf Coast Palapas is getting 35% of the search, roughly 30, somewhere around there. And you're getting about 10%. So if we get you number one, that can literally triple the amount of business that you're receiving right now, which would do great for you. Literally triple your, your revenue, all right? Triple the amount of leads are coming through. And if your closing rate, of course, stays the same, then that will triple your revenue. Um, so this chart applies for the maps and applies for the organic. So you're not in um, the top three for the maps right now. So that's definitely something that we would want to get you in because since you are located uh, here in Houston, um, we wanted to get you ranked right here in the maps as well. So that's that's 30% of the clicks. This is 30% of clicks, and then the ads is another 20 to 30% of the clicks. All right, so if you're running an, an effective um, PPC campaign using Google AdWords, which I know that you're putting money into and it's not successful, you can literally have nearly 100%, 99% of the clicks from the page. All right, that would be ideal um, for you. So that's always the goal. That's the end goal for us. We're going to get you here in the maps, here organically. And then if you're willing to uh, put out for PPC campaign, which I suggest you do because it's still 30, 20, 30 percent of all the business, um, then we'll get you a campaign going right here. OK, so that's kind of like the strategy that will approach the, this Google search. OK, so to get to get all the clicks. Um, so you're in uh, right here. You're, Houston's the closest one. Your address is in Lamarck, Texas. So real quick, I just want to search. Uh, Lamarck, Texas, real quick. Lamarck, Texas, and then Palapas. And I'm sure you're going to be up there as well. Yep, so you're number one. Okay, which I'm sure that city is a, a lot smaller um, than Houston. Houston's got at least a million people in it. I just want to do this real quick for you. So that's 15,000 people. So, I mean, how many people are really going to be searching? in there versus um, Houston, right? So obviously you want to take the major pop. I mean, look, 2 million people. So you're, you're set up in a good spot right now. And I'm in, that's kind of something that from talking on the phone, you kind of already knew that. Um, so literally moving to number one will trip you, triple your business um, just by showing you what I've showed you thus far. So keyword, yeah, Palapas, you know, it's a very popular search term. Um, monthly, it's getting about 500,000 searches. Uh, so definitely great niche, great market. Um, so a huge opportunity to grow and expand in this niche. Okay. Um, so 
let me show you the next thing. I want to show you some key, how do, how do we find the keywords, okay? So remember your number one competitor was uh, Golf Coles Palapas. So here are all the top keyword searches he's targeting, okay? So Palapas, obviously number one, 97% of the searches. Um, deck building, this is very small that he's pulling from. So let's see what, how many you're pulling from. Uh, Palapas, again, 99% of your clicks is coming from Palapas, okay? So this is how we find out all the keywords to target. So, because a lot of the a lot of what we do is all about the keyword research. Okay. Um, so with keyword research, let me just move into the next subject, um, the four determining factors. Okay. So, authoritative content. This is the very first thing that we're going to talk about getting you um, to, for Google to take you seriously. So when we go to your homepage, do you have authoritative content? Okay. Um, what I mean by that. On your home page, are you mentioning, you know, the word Palapas in Houston or uh, deck building and all these keywords or, or Tiki Hut? I know that's some of the off things people might call these, you know. Are you mentioning those uh, keywords in Houston, Texas or whatever city that you're in, okay? You want to elaborate and uh, say it multiple, multiple times. Um, and you want to have at least 1,000 or 2,000 words on the home page of authoritative content. So you do have some content built. Um, just a couple paragraphs, you know, I, I just looking at it, it's probably under maybe 200 words or so. Um, definitely want to get that up over a thousand to 2000. Okay. And that's something we can definitely get taken care of. You build some good authoritative content with keyword research built in. Uh, I showed you quick tools that I use to find some of the keywords. I mean, this is just two things real quick. Um, let me show you what authoritative content really looks like. So I typed in elephant. Look what's number one, Wikipedia. So Wikipedia is notorious for popping up number one because of their authoritative content. I mean, look at all the words on this page. This is probably like 50,000 words plus, okay? This is excessive. Um, definitely, we don't need you to have this much content on your page about Palapas, but um, just to give you an idea, all right? That's why they're always number one for these searches. So 1,000 to 2,000 words is going to set you up nicely. Um, next, I want to talk to you about citations okay these are very important um, so some examples are uh, Google Yahoo Facebook Bing Yelp yellow pages white pages okay there's thousands of these these are the top 50 in the country definitely want to get you listed in all of these um, but then we want to get you listed in hundreds more okay over time um, when you do them you have to have your business name address phone number identical because if not Google's gonna ding you and looks like your biggest problem here is you're missing listings. So all these listings that you're not in, Foursquare and Local.com, these are huge local citations. You know, prospects in these, they can't find you if they're looking for Palapas. Most importantly, Google's not taking you seriously. So we got to get you listed in all these you're missing. Again, this is a top 50 in the country. We want to get you listed in hundreds of these, okay? Um, so that's citations. Next, I want to talk to you about backlinks or high quality domains okay so say you have a client thoroughly impressed with their new installation um, say they have a website or a blog or they're a writer um, what they'll do is actually post an article on the internet about your business or the work they did and link your website on their website so anyone reading the article can click the link and go directly to your website this is great because now you have a new prospect but most importantly, Google sees it as a vote all right Google is a popularity contest whoever has the most votes uh, wins wins the uh, election just like running for president right um, so that's all these backlinks are but they're so important these so let me back up real quick the citations the with the 23 percent error rate that you have here these are directly responsible for the map listings okay that's how we get you in the maps now these backlinks that I'm talking about these are directly responsible for getting you um, organically ranked right here okay so let me explain these to you you have currently um, three referencing domains this is saying that there's three websites mentioning your your website about 34 times somewhere on the internet all right and with, with 34 backlinks all right so that's not bad um, the trust flow well I mean this is very low number three we obviously this number we want to get up in the tens and hundreds and eventually um, and then of course the backlinks the same the trust flow is the quality of these referencing domains okay so let me show you this chart 
this is showing you the quality. So if you have an 18 truss flow, all right, you're meeting between medium and high quality. Okay, so you're about right here. So you're not meeting quite high quality, but you're meeting medium quality. Okay, so the great thing about uh, coming to us is we actually get the high quality domains, write the, the articles. Um, these articles don't have to be specifically about your niche market as long as it's anchor texted, text linked to your website mentioning uh, through through a specific word that's mentioned on the home page of your website. Okay, that's the way the backlinks work. So, or it could just be a link to the website. You can read the website, you know, paradisepalapas.com, click there and go to the website. Either or, okay. Um, so that, that's the way the backlinks work. So all of ours are actually 25 and 30 plus. Okay, so they're super, super high quality. Um, they're not uh, easy to come by, but we get them, um, and then you could actually verify. So eventually, this number, you're actually going to see it over 25, and that's how you're going to know you're, you have super quality, high referencing domains. And like I said, this number, after a few months, you were going to have you over 20, and eventually, you want to get you in the hundreds. Okay, same thing with the backlinks. All right, so let me just show you um, the uh, your competitor real quick. So... I'm sorry. So the competitor, see the numbers are a little different. This is the Gulf Coast Palapas. So he's beating you at number one right now. He has a trust flow of seven, so he has low quality resources, right? But here's the thing, he has 29 referencing domains. He has, he has 10 times as many um, referencing domains as you have. So that's why he's, winning, he's beating you in the race. And then external backlinks you had 34 he has 92 so he has roughly three times as many so this is why he's on top right now on the organic rankings because he has way more a lot more referencing domains but obviously reverse engineering the competition that's how we become successful and beat the competition literally with SEO that's that that's what pretty much what I'm doing right now for you I'm reverse engineering your top competitor and we're gonna beat him okay so we're gonna get you more referencing domains at a higher quality all right, you're going to see very fast results with this, um, and we're just going to beat them because it's easy. <laughs> uh, so next thing I want to talk to you about, um, being mobile friendly. So as you may already know, 60-80% of the market of people are actually going to use their iPhone, Android to look for their uh, product or service in the area. So you got to look good on the device, most importantly, Google is definitely takes that very serious so you are mobile friendly um, you were vo voicing some concerns with me over the phone about your website that um, I want to consult with you and get more information about so we can get that fixed um, but you are mobile friendly um, so let's move on from that so let me show you last thing I want to show you real quick um, how many clicks are you getting compared to that number one rank person I kind of showed you what the difference could be literally three times as many but I'm going to show you exactly how much business the number one competitor is getting. All right, the number one guy again was Gulf Coast Palapas. So right now you are getting about 25 clicks per month. Okay, so for, for the month of February, January to February, you're at about 25 clicks. Okay, and you're obviously converting about 2 to 5% of those, roughly somewhere in that area. Okay, last month, by January you had 63 so I guess you know people were buying Palapas for Christmas or something like that alright um, so it's kinda up and down you know it looks like during the summertime you have nice spikes okay but you know for last month you got 25 now your top competitor he got 117 so if you do the math what is that over four times um, of the business right so from the graph I showed you earlier this it moving you from three to one can at least triple your business well it's actually for him it's for your niche market it's quadrupling the amount of business so moving you from three to one can get you in the hundreds amounts of clicks and then again you'll be converting two to four percent at the minimum somewhere in that area because um, that's how that usually that's how the clicks works when someone clicks on your website it's not somebody that's just randomly searching Palapas, right, in Google. They, no, they're coming with money. They're, they want to get an installation for their pool or, or what have you. You know, same thing with, like, carpet clean or limousine. People just don't look this stuff up just for the heck of it. No, they probably have a house they're trying to sell or...
they have a wedding, you know, in a few months for their family and or something, and they want to get a limousine, right? So you kind of see where I'm going with that. Um, so that's kind of how the conversion works, about 2 to 5%, okay? So literally four times the amount of business he's getting on top of you from being number one. So that's where we're going to get you. All right, so that is pretty much a snapshot of your SEO marketing right as of right now for Houston, okay? So just to reiterate, um, you know, on your website, I do see the different, uh, some of the different cities that were targeted for keyword research on here and um, building those lead generation websites as you were, that, as we were talking about, um, we can build them out for any of the cities that you're trying to target. Um, I do remember you mentioning you had like 10 or so domains, if I'm saying that, if I'm remembering that correctly. So that's awesome if you want to shoot for Dallas or Fort Worth. Um, Austin, wherever you want to get these things launched, um, we can definitely launch a uh, lead generation campaign for you and just pull all the leads to this website, get this website 100%, get the keyword research built in here 100%, get those lead generation websites built in with the right keyword research, um, optimize all of your media, because um, like all these pictures, you know, they have to be named correctly. If you have any videos, they have to be relevant to Palapas and Houston or whatever city that we're targeting, okay, all, all these things are taken into account. I didn't go too much depth in that. I wanted to keep it short, um, but uh, definitely a huge potential, um, and again, so that's pretty much it, Josh. I appreciate the time you took to watch this video. Um, again, if any of this makes sense for you and your business, um, I'd love to hear back from you. Um, so you have my contact information in the email. Just give me a call, email me back, and uh, I'll take your call, and we'll go from there. Appreciate the time. Thanks a lot.